Let's see what and Santa and Mommy can do, okay? A New York cop, John McLean, has come to see his wife. Instead, he's going to have to save her. Sit down. Within this skyscraper high above the city, 12 terrorists have declared war. They're about to be told a lesson in the real use of power. There is brilliant because I am interested in the $640 million in your vault. As they are ruthless. But I'm telling you, you're just going to have to kill me. Okay. We do it the hard way. Now, the last thing McLean wants think. is to be a hero. Where's Holly? Hey, Where? But he doesn't have a choice. What does he think he's doing? <laughs> already killed one hostage. This channel is reserved for emergency calls only. Hey, do I sound like I'm wearing a pizza? He's inside? Who is he? Who are you then? You are most troublesome for a security guard. Sorry, wrong guess, huh? Would you like to go for double jeopardy? Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? Yippee ki mother. Die Hard is an action thriller movie that was released on July 20th, 1988. This movie has a decent amount of popularity and is considered a classic. Is this movie worthy of this reputation? Well, let's find out by starting of by of course starting with the story. The story follows New York cop John McClane who goes to visit his estranged wife for Christmas. She works at a cor cop corporation. She works at a corporation called Nakatomi. Little do they know that a group of terrorists are trying to break into the building and steal a large amount of money hidden somewhere in the building. But once McLean finds this out, he goes it was all out for getting rid of the terrorists. All things considered, I fucking love the story. Not just because it's a setup for awesome action scenes, but also because it's so fucking enjoyable. John McClane is a fucking awesome character. His mannerisms are so fucking his mannerisms are so fucking fun to listen to. I also like how this movie is set in literally one location. It is unique compared to most action movies where scenes happen in many different locations. It almost feels like a uh, hour-long YouTube response video, except this was made before YouTube was even around. The strong language is one piece of evidence of that. It also gives a sense of confinement that works pretty damn well with the movie. The story also makes for some memorable own moments and lines. Some that come to mind are the part where are the part when the police, FBI, and SWAT team get involved and find out information on the terrorists given to them by John, but the news reporter doesn't does not trust John, that par that moronic cocksucker. Or the part where um hands. Hans Gruber, the leader of the terrorist squad, and everybody's favorite magnificent bastard, finally discovers the identity of the man who is killing all the, the other terrorists, which, keep in mind, is John McClane. 
or even I've got a machine gun, ho, ho, ho. All of these scenes are a damn blast to watch. Similar to Indiana Jones, John McClane is not a superhero. He gets hurt very brutally at times, but this does not stop him. He continues to fight and fight. That is very fucking admirable. Also, this movie finds a way to entertain from beginning to end, and that is is why I like the story so much. The action scenes are pretty fucking cool. There are plenty of guns, explosions, blood, and shit like that. There is one fight scene that is brutal, which only adds to the intensity and overall makes the fight scene much, much better. The action is also filmed and edited quite well, so the action scenes are great despite some tedium. Alright, time for the production values. The editing is good, the cinematography is great, the sets are realistic, the sound is top notch. Although a lot of people seem to forget that there is some handheld in this movie. Not complaining. But it's funny that the peop that people say the new Die Hard movies have horrible camera work when the original was not perfect in that category. But yeah. The music is not great. It's not bad, but I was not that impressed with it. But that's just what I think. Overall, Die, Die Hard is a great movie. Overall, Die Hard is a great movie. It has a memorable story, awesome action scenes, nice production values, and an overall sense of style. The only problem I have with it is the music is not the best, contrary to what others may think. But despite that, this is one hell of a classic that is incredibly enjoyable to this day. I am proud to have it in my collection. I give Die Hard 5 out of 5 stars with the title of Epic. yippee ki motherfucker. Anyway, I'm Spike Robot. Thank you all for watching and uh, see you next time. This world will never be what I expected. If I don't belong, who would have guessed it?